Hey everyone. Hey, thanks for stopping by and watching. Um, I've decided uh, to do a review of each individual workout of Beachbody's latest and greatest program, Insanity Max 30. So uh, if you don't know what insanity is, I don't know which hole you've been living in for the past uh, bunch of years. But anyways, uh, Insanity is a, is a program developed by uh, a celebrity fitness trainer, Sean T. Uh, insanity became wildly popular. Uh, and since there have been some variations of it uh, last year in, in 2000, well not 14, but in 13, he came out with uh, Focus T25, which is basically just short 25 minute workouts, all cardio. And so now we've basically got Insanity uh, condensed down into 30 minute works out, workouts. So that's what Insanity Max 30 is. So today uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the very first workout that you do in the program, which is this one here, Insanity Max 30 Cardio Challenge. Okay. Um, this one you do the first day of the program. This serves as your fit test for the program. You repeat it every Monday, like say if you start on a Monday, uh, you repeat this workout every Monday in month one. So you do one, two, three, four times. And then the last time you do it is the very last day of the program. Okay, now the whole point of Insanity Max 30 is to go as hard as you can for as long as you can. And when you have to take a break, that's your max out time. And the goal is to improve your max out time over the course of the program. So for example, today was the, is I started week three, so this is the third time I did cardio challenge. Uh, I improved from last, last week I maxed out at seven minutes, 16 seconds. Today I maxed out at 13.07. So a marked improvement from between weeks two and three. Now, as far as the workout itself, the way this is structured, um, it's 30 minutes, all these workouts are 30 minutes. At the end of 30 minutes, it's followed by a two minute cool down. So in all actuality, when you add the cool down, it's 32 minutes, but that's fine. Uh, so on this one, you start out with a five minute warm up. Basically it's five moves, 30 seconds each, and you repeat that. So for a total of five minutes. Uh, and if <laughs> warm up, it's very similar to uh, the warm -up, warm ups in Insanity. So you do those, those five moves, then you repeat it and you go harder the second time. That brief 30 seconds is really, you're kind of on your own for stretching, um, which I thought was kind of a little weird. You just get a quick 30 second breaks and then you move into the to, uh, four sets of your, your intervals. So basically the way this is set up is you've got, you go straight through for four and a half minutes and then a 30 second break. So that's a five minute block altogether. And you do that four times. Now in that four and a half minutes, basically you're doing three moves, 30 seconds each, and you do it three times. So you do moves one, two, and three, you repeat it, you repeat it a third time, and uh, then you get your 30 second break. And the moves are basically, uh, they're variations on, on what you've, we've already seen in Insanity and, and Focus T25, you do it with a little bit more intensity. Uh, and also there is a modifier track, so which is cool because it, it splits the screen, you see the modifier the entire time, which we haven't had in any other program before. So I like that. I always put the modifier track on, because inevitably at some point in the program, I do the modifier. Now, as far as the moves themselves, so far, um, I, this is my least favorite workout of this program. And the reason why is I just feel there's just too many dang jumping jacks and variations thereof. It's like, how many versions of jumping jacks do you really freaking need to do? So it actually, quite frankly, this workout pisses me off. Um, but I suck it up and I do it. I see if I can improve my time, but I really do not enjoy this workout. Um, I don't like, I mean, basically it just burns the hell out of my calves. I am not a runner. I don't like running and all the leg stuff. I mean, I don't mind doing one plyometric workout a week. Fine, I can tolerate that, but this is ridiculous. So I really don't like a lot of the moves in this one because they're like kind of jumpy jacks and you're always you're on your toes like the entire time. So for the moves, I give this a thumbs down. For the format, I like it. I like how the intervals are set up. Um, but, and you know, I, and it's good, it serves good as, as a fit test to, to give you a baseline on, on how you're gonna do in the program. So this one, this workout, I give it a eh. But the whole program so far, I like what I see. So I wouldn't toss this program out just based on the review of one individual workout. So that's my review on Insanity Max 30 Cardio Challenge. Uh, yeah, if you're interested, give the program a try. There's a 30 day, 30 day money back guarantee. It gives you a chance. You can try out all the workouts. If you don't like any of them, send the damn program back. If you like it, keep up with it because uh, you will get results. Um, by the way, this is purely a cardio program. If you're looking to build muscle, this is not the program for you.
Go find some other program like P90X or Body Beast that'll help you build muscle. This one is really designed for shedding the fat. That's uh, kind of how cardio intervals work. So quick review. Hey guys, I want to say thank you for stopping by and taking your time out of your busy day to watch this. I really appreciate it. And uh, any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Hey, I like being a guinea pig on these things. Hope you have a great day. Make it a great week. And uh, let's make 2015 an awesome year. I'll see you again real soon. Bye, everyone.